truck SUV reviews on YouTube and today we are in the brand new 2022 Chevy Camaro SS courtesy of Apple Chevrolet in York PA for more information on their inventory please feel free to check out the link in the description box below we are in this one today because I always have a blast reviewing it first and foremost but also we are paired up with the six-speed manual today so that should be quite fun and unfortunately it's raining today so maybe not quite as fun as it could have been but still pretty cool and there are a couple of changes for the 2022 model year as well so ultimately in this video we will be testing out and going over everything about this one from acceleration to braking steering for ride quality sound system exhaust clip all that fun stuff so having said all that what do you guys say let's just go ahead and jump right into it and as always let's start with pricing and so to start there are essentially two different trim levels for the 2022 camaro ss first one being the one ss starting at thirty eight thousand eight hundred ninety five dollars then you have the two ss which actually is the one we have today starting at forty three thousand eight hundred ninety five dollars and by the way that was pricing for the coupe version there is a convertible version if you wanted to go that route simply add six thousand dollars to either of those prices but so that regardless of configuration that you go with the power plant on the 2022 camaro ss will be the same powering the beast is a 6.2 liter lt1 v8 putting out 455 horsepower at 6,000 rpm 455 pound feet of torque coming in at right around 4400 rpm power sent to the rear wheels through a six speed manual with rev matching which again is the one we have today or an eight speed automatic with paddle shifters that goes for 1545 dollars by the way if you wanted to go that route zero to 60 time is going to come in at approximately 3.9 seconds according to car and driver and i'm sure that is for the automatic transmission manual typically bumps that back to maybe 4.3 I would imagine quarter mile time coming in at 12.2 seconds again according to car and driver top speed 165 miles per hour with MPG numbers coming in at 16 in the city 24 on the highway taking premium unleaded fuel but said that before we do any kind of fun acceleration tests here in our 2022 Camaro SS when the mentioned you guys the drive modes there's actually a button directly behind the shifter labeled mode go figure but <laughs> drive modes will include tour sport snow and ice and track adjusting things like the shift points at least if you're in the automatic also throttle sensitivity and steering sensitivity as well so now having got all of that out of the way what do you guys say let's go ahead and put this thing to the test let's find a straightaway and let's see how quickly we can get our new 2022 Camaro SS here up to speed all right you guys so I'm not gonna go too crazy here because it is wet out has been raining all morning so obviously it's gonna be a little bit slippery but that was a good sound here we go Whoa, okay, not going sideways, like I said. All right, let's just test out the shifting. <laughs> there it is. Oh yeah, that's what. Oh, did you hear that pop? Holy cow, love that pop for one. I'll get more into the exhaust later because we do have the fun exhaust system, I'll just put it that way, but yeah, the back end definitely kicks out when it is wet out. I'll just say that, which is why I'm not pushing it at all today, but I will say the shifting feels good. I like the six speed. It's been uh, it's been a while since I've driven the six speed in the Camaro and it's refreshingly nice. I like it. So definitely no issues with the shifting. And again, I really couldn't go full out with the acceleration today because it is so wet out and I got pretty kind of sideways there. But anyways, do go along with that acceleration as always braking is equally important and so for the standard braking configuration you actually still will get brembo front and rear brakes that come standard on the ss so that's a pretty cool start to begin with but four piston front and rear calipers but i will say there is an optional brake configuration with the one le track package i guess for seven thousand dollars and it gives you a ton of different things but that will actually give you six piston monoblock front calipers and two piece front rotors as well overall as far as the 60 to zero stopping distance goes it's actually going to come in at an insanely impressive 103 feet which is just about the best you could possibly get but as far as braking feel goes obviously it's on the firm side it feels absolutely wonderful you're definitely not going to have any issues with bringing this thing to the stop having said that you're not going to have any issues with bringing this thing to a stop on the track either if you wanted to go that route so incredible braking feel here on the 2022 camaro ss so the touching on suspension and handling of course you will find up front and mcpherson strut front suspension in the back independent multi-link rear suspension front and rear stabilizer bars 
But again, that track package is going to add a ton to the suspension, including unique bushings, stiffer springs, upgraded stabilizer bars, an electronic limited slip differential, and magnetic ride control as well. And if you were thinking, I don't want to spend $7,000, maybe you just want to go with the magnetic ride control because that's personally what I would at least go with on this thing. By the way, that goes for $2,000 as a standalone option if you wanted to go that route. The reason I would particularly go with that because it really gives you the best of both worlds. So it monitors each shock absorber individually, not only adjusting to the road imperfections, giving you a smoother ride, but also tightening up the suspension during heavy cornering, again, giving you the best of both worlds. So that is why I always recommend that one whenever any vehicle really offers it, because that's really where it's at when it comes to the suspension, at least. But so as far as ride quality goes, it feels pretty much like I would expect it to feel. And actually, it's not that bad. It actually rides pretty, hang on, here comes the manhole. Let me just experience this real quick. Yeah, it's not that bad. I have definitely felt worse, but then again, back in the day, which I shouldn't say back in the day, like two years ago, I had a modified 2019 Mustang that was lowered with 20 inch wheels. And yeah, you felt everything on that thing. So honestly, this isn't that bad. I don't mind it. But then touching on steering feel, it definitely adjusts pretty substantially. Let me put it in sport driving mode. Yeah, you could definitely tell the difference with the steering feel dependent upon which drive mode that you put it in. It is a noticeably heavier feel when you put it in that sport and track driving mode. But if I were to take it out of that, it loosens up a little bit, but it still feels great, honestly. Even with me putting it in tour mode, it still is a heavier weight to the steering, which I personally appreciate. As far as cabin noise goes, really what I'm getting mostly is the incredible sound of this exhaust note on this Camaro SS. And again, we'll be doing exhaust clip later in the video, so you definitely want to stick around for that. But it is just wonderful, I'm telling you guys. But anyways, then touching on visibility, I have this camera set up right now where there's an actual camera showing me what is behind me, which is absolutely incredible. I'm showing that to you guys, so that's pretty darn cool. But overall visibility because of that camera is absolutely 100% on point because in the past, I have kind of critiqued the Camaro for visibility because if I were to flip this back, it's kind of bad, honestly. It's kind of like the uh, Nissan 370Z. It's just not the best. It's something that you get used to, I will say that, but it's not the best. But with the camera mode on, it's wonderful. That completely negates that criticism that I had in the past. So I absolutely love that. Not only that, I do have a head-up display I'm looking at right now, giving me my speed, speed limit, and radio information and safety features up on my windshield as well. So that's definitely gonna assist with visibility there as well. But that pretty much rounds out the performance segment of this review, you guys. Let's now go ahead and take a look at the exterior of our brand new 2022 Chevy Camaro SS. All right, so here she is, you guys, the new 2022 Chevy Camaro SS, specifically the 2SS that we have here today. But anyways, there will be two new colors for the 2022 model year, vivid orange metallic and rapid blue. In case you were curious about those, there are two color deletions as well, including crush and shock. In case you were curious but anyways let's go ahead and start up front of the camaro ss here ss badging of course coming standard within that front grille you do actually have functional hood vents as well up top that's going to assist with engine cooling so that is always a good thing with that massive v8 under the hood black bow tie emblems are going to come standard as well and that's of course both in the front and the back black front splitter and side skirts that is a specific package that we happen to have here on this one that goes for $1,995 i think it makes a world of a difference i think it makes it look so much better it ties in very well with the hood vents and the black bow tie emblem so definitely loving that look you do have some front air curtains to the sides up front there helping direct air around the wheel and tire combination and continuing to the sides led headlights with led daytime running lights coming standard do you get the automatic feature then with that as well meaning when it starts to get dark and at night these headlights will turn on automatically for you there but insanely good looking front end to this one let's now go ahead and make our way to the side of the camaro it's open now since we are around to the side of this one black window surrounds will come standard badging on the front fender some camaro badging i think you guys can see that up front there taking a look at the side mirrors they are body colored power adjustable side mirrors and the 2SS that we have today is actually going to add to that heated side mirrors and actually auto dimming side mirrors as well in case you were curious yes the windows are tinted that does not come standard like that but yeah of course they are tinted but then take you then take a look down at the wheel configuration 20 inch five spoke silver painted aluminum alloys will come standard however there are so many different optional wheel configurations for the 2022 Camaro found on Chevy's website so we do have one of those optional configurations and of course you got the aftermarket as well if you wanted to go that route but pretty much rounds out 
the side profile, let's now go ahead and make our way to the back. So but now since we are around to the back, you guys will notice up top that body colored shark fin antenna. Let me get up a little bit closer here. That is actually where that rear view camera is going to come out in case you were curious. That's a camera up there. So for the rear visibility, you have two options again. That is where the camera is actually going to be facing if you wanted to check out what is behind you. I absolutely love that, especially with the Camaro having not the best visibility to start out with. But anyways, let's go ahead and touch on that rear spoiler. There are so many of them available. You have a carbon flash metallic look. You have a body colored rear spoiler like you're looking at right now. There's a satin black rear spoiler as well. So really so many different options with this car. I'll just put it that way. Of course, you got the S s badging found on the driver's side in the back there led taillights definitely do come standard and they look dang good back there as well just below it all there's going to be a couple different exhaust configurations and this is going to be one of the best parts of this video but dual exhaust outlets with bright tips are going to come standard for the camaro ss however there is a dual mode exhaust with quad tips and that's going to be optional it's either going to come with the track package or as a standalone option for 995 dollars but that comes with quad tips so Having said that, I do believe you guys know what we have to do next. As always, here is that exhaust clip. Now, since we are around to the back of the Camaro, when it comes to opening that rear trunk, there is a button on the key fob. You press that twice. There's also a button just above the license plate. That is yet another way. And there's actually a button on the driver's side door then as well. But once opened up, cargo capacity is going to differ between the coupe and the convertible, of course. Coupe is going to give you 9.1 cubic feet. Then the convertible is going to give you 7.3 cubic feet. So, of course, a little bit less. It's typically how it goes. If that was not enough space, though, those rear seats do fold down for a good bit of extra space. And if you needed it, there is some cargo lighting back there. And within the cargo floor, there is just a slight bit of in-floor storage, I guess, if you wanted to go that route. But then make our way up to the rear legroom. That is going to come in at 29.9 inches. So for reference, I'll give it a shot. I am even six feet tall. This is more than likely going to work for small children, possibly, if maybe the passenger seat is pushed up a little bit. But it's not usable for adults. I'll just put it that way. Did would also mention though, there is a wireless phone charger just in front of those rear passengers back there as well. But then make your way to the front seats. Eight-way power driver seat comes standard. Six-way power adjustable passenger seat comes standard for the Camaro SS as well. That is pretty nice. Cloth seating is going to come standard. Leather seating is going to be optional. And there are Recaro Performance front seats coming with the track package. And you do get that SS badging regardless towards the upper portion of the seats. And heated the ventilated seats by the way are going to be optional i should probably turn mine off because it's kind of noisy but overall as far as seat comfort goes it's perfectly fine wouldn't have minded testing out the recaro seats i think that would be pretty cool i'm sure they would have enhanced bolsters to better hold you in place around the turns but having said that these seats are plenty comfortable without a doubt then take a look at the steering wheel though it is tilt and telescoping it is leather wrapped it is a flat bottom you got the ss badging towards the bottom portion and if you go with the track pack that's going to add a suede steering wheel so that's pretty cool then make our way to the startup let me start by showing you guys the key here you got your chevy logo on the one side then when you flip it over lock unlock again that button to pop the rear trunk but it is all keyless entry with a push button start so all i am going to do here is simply put my foot on the braking clutch and press that engine start button located directly underneath of the gauges and so speaking of when it comes to those gauges upon startup tachometer is all the way to your left speedometer is on your right there is a fairly large digital display front and center to control what is on that digital display there are steering wheel mounted controls found on the right side it gives you digital speedometer is probably what i would leave it on of course you can check out your drive modes up there of course you got trip a trip b how many miles you have left until you hit empty you got your remaining oil life i like seeing that up there That's pretty cool tire pressure information and a lap timer as well that is pretty darn cool as well anyways pretty much everything you could possibly want on the digital portion of the gauges but then make your own way to overall interior quality there is a power sunroof that is optional for 995 dollars we do have that i love that it's optional here on the camaro because you can't even get a power moonroof on the mustang so i love that that's an option here 
frameless rear view mirror does come standard. LED interior lighting also coming standard, but the 2SS is really where it's at when it comes to interior quality. And here's why 2SS is going to add ambient lighting, which you can configure to different colors and different schemes, which it's pretty cool. We kind of have an ombre look with the uh, yellow and red orange look. So I think that is pretty cool. Dual zoom climate control coming standard up front, meaning both driver and passenger can set their own temperatures. You have illuminated sill plates with that 2SS and auto dimming rear view mirror, a wireless phone charger, like I said, as well, only coming with the 2SS. So like I said, that is really where it's at when it comes to interior quality. And there is some soft touch material like towards just underneath of the windows on the sides there. Also just underneath of the power window buttons, there is some stitching running through just above the passenger side glove box as well. But overall, and we'll also say just behind the shifter, you will find an electromechanical parking brake. There is a 12 volt power outlet. You do have your dual cup holders as well as some little bit of ambient lighting between them. That's pretty cool. And a little bit of storage within the center armrest. Not a whole lot, but overall finished very much directly to the point, basically. It's just a sports car. It's not a luxury car, so I don't mind it for what you get on this thing. I actually don't mind it whatsoever. But now, let's go ahead and make our way to the infotainment screen. An eight inch color touchscreen display is going to come standard. Bluetooth and audio streaming, also standard. Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, but not just that. Wireless Android Auto, Apple CarPlay coming standard for both the One SS and the 2SS, which is why I probably couldn't find a USB charging port because it's all wireless. You don't need one. That is amazing. I absolutely love that. Not all manufacturers, I would say, most manufacturers still aren't making wireless Android Auto Apple CarPlay available for a lot of their vehicles. So I love that Chevy put it on the Camaro SS without a doubt. Factory navigation system is going to be optional for the 2SS. You really don't need it as long as you have a smartphone though. Climate control settings, of course, can be found up there as well, along with your radio information. And so when it comes to the sound systems, there's gonna be two of them. The 1SS is going to give you a standard six speaker sound system, which I remember testing out in 20 for the 2020 model year, I'll put it that way. And it was perfectly fine, honestly, I didn't mind it. But today we have the nine speaker Bose sound system, which comes standard on the 2SS. So having said that, what do you guys say? Let's go ahead and turn on the radio, see what we got playing today. And let's test out the clarity of this one. It's brilliant. It's quite brilliant. I've had Bose sound systems in my cars before. They've never broken or failed me or anything like that. But that's a dang good sound system. When you consider the size of the Camaro, how it's not all that big, nine speakers in a Bose form is quite brilliant for this thing. But anyways, last thing I wanna to mention to you guys on the infotainment screen is when you do put the Camaro in reverse, and by the way, to put the Camaro in reverse, you simply slide the shifter all the way into the upper right-hand corner, and that is going to give you a rear view camera taking up the entire screen, letting you know who or what is behind you, which is always is going to lead us into safety. And so to start, front side side curtain airbags do come standard driver and passenger knee airbags up front as well. In the back, you're gonna have latch, AKA lower anchors and tethers for children for the rear car seats, power pressure monitoring system, but then the 2SS is going to add to that lane change alert with side blind zone alert, rear cross traffic alert, and rear parking sensors then as well. And so overall, when it comes to my final thoughts here of the 2022 Camaro SS, Great sounding exhaust system. I think you guys will agree with me on that. Very powerful V8 as well. Zero to 60 and 3.9 really is incredibly impressive, especially considering the price point of the Camaro SS. Excellent braking. The 60 to zero and 103 feet is incredible. Handling is quite good as well. And honestly, with the magnetic ride control suspension, that's gonna give you a decent ride quality for a vehicle like this. That's rare, so definitely a big fan of that as well. Six speed is incredibly fun, I will say that. As far as room for improvement goes, Rear visibility isn't that great, but having said that, when you flip the rear view mirror here, it gives you that camera, so I can't even knock it for that. So that is not even room for improvement anymore. The only thing I can really honestly think of is the back seat rear legroom. Obviously, that's not gonna be the best, and the interior quality could be improved upon a little bit, but honestly, again, for what you get for a performance car like the Camaro SS, I really can't knock it for that. So anyways, let me know what you guys think of this thing in the comments section below. And that is about it for this one, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to follow me on social media at the bottom of the screen if you want to see what's coming next on the channel before it actually gets to YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe and the bell notification button if you're into new car reviews. That is what we do here on this channel after all. Do appreciate you guys watching more than you know, and I will see you guys all in the next video. Stay gold. Sweetheart